Oh, and we're on. Hey guys, welcome to the Mary Boozers channel. Coming to you live from Joe Nall. Well, Fall Nall, I should Nall say. Nall in the fall. Nall in the fall, say it right. Um, glad to be here with the Motion guys. We're set up in the Motion booth right now. There's planes flying around behind us. It's crazy like always. I love it. Um, we have just flown and flown and flown. Beating the heat, which is crazy. It almost feels like May here right now. It, it is hot right now. It, I thought it was going to be cold. I brought a jacket. Did not need the jacket. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Don't so, need any of it. It was 100, bad to be 100 degrees today. We it, were just, it was cooking. We drank so much water, but flew so many models. I saw in the chat earlier somebody had uh, wrote, um, asked how many planes did West fly. So today, though, you've flown a couple, obviously, but I've definitely once been. you bind it up to some that you hadn't flown in a bit, you were just sticking with them. Oh, yeah. So, um, so go to it. I got to fly the 90 millimeter F-16. It's right behind us with the new upgraded motor. The That's the high power, performance version. Yeah, the yeah. new high performance power system. I'm in love with this airplane. I've probably put 10 flights on it today and just, I can't get enough of it. It's like I land and I'm like, let's go rip another pack in it. I throw it in there. And then uh, we got the A6 Intruder, um, yeah. high performance version on that. Been flying the ton with that one. It's awesome. That yeah, was awesome. It was the first time I ever saw that new 80 millimeter inrunner. Uh, in a model, and I had the original A6. Uh, it was one of the first models I bought, because again, I like to go for all the models. Motion has a lot of models that just aren't produced, you know, multiples from other companies. The A6 was one that, when I saw it, I'm just like, that's so different. I like that wing. I like a jet with a wing that, you know, that long wing makes it, oh. I think it's a good beginner jet, but now with that inrunner, oh, I mean, it really picks up. You know, the original motor was great for scale flying, but now, now you do have some oomph behind it. Which it's is nice because if you want to fly at scale, I've been flying at about half throttle. I come down three to three and a half minutes. I got plenty in the pack. I haven't been pushing the packs that hard. Yeah. Um, but if you want it to rip, I mean, full throttle passes on it. It sounds awesome and it is cooking across the field. Yeah, it looks I good. Think it's cooking. I think we're going to have to midweek once we're done with the A6. I think we should rip out that motor and stick it in the F86, which also. I think is getting that uh, in runner Upgraded. upgrade as well. So I have one that still has the older motor, but uh, I think we can just swap, swap Find and out go. What it's like. Yeah, and enjoy it. What else did we do today? Uh, OV10 guys yep. have been following motion. I've been building the Profly OV10. Um, we're expected our black horse can, our black horse containers coming, and the Profly OV10s will be on that. So they've been out of stock. It's a hot model. People wanted that ARF kit, uh, that ARF kit, but. I was so excited to finally get to Maiden it, and you know, it's hard to do it out here and Maiden uh, the OV-10 or just anything, because everybody's around, so, but I, I promised myself, because Wes was like, you want me to do it? I'm like, man, I got my blood, sweat, and tears in this build, I'm Maiden it, and that first landing was just a greaser. And Lori's got it up on the, the screen for you guys, just kind of let you see it flying. It was gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Just so, such a baby. More than enough power. That's everything stock in that system that you see on the, uh, on the product page. So I've got the X-Wave retracts. I got the Admiral Motors. I believe they're the GP26s. Alpha can uh, correct me in the chat if I got that wrong, but man, you know. Awesome, I'm flying it on two 5,000 uh, 4S packs. So it flies similar, you know, similar way you plug in your Tiger Cat, two 4S batteries, or your P38 from Flightline. Uh, that OV-10 was absolutely gorgeous. Then we got to a gaggle of F-18s, oh my gosh, yeah. which was incredible. This week I told, because uh, I got the two F-18s, I got the Blue Angels, and I got my Silver Eagles. And uh, we went out with, we had Carlos, if you guys know him, from Hobby Squawk, and Garrett. They had number five and number three, and we had Steve's number six, Steve Hodges, RC Jet Dude, who's behind the camera, and Wes was on the number two Blue Angels, and I was leading the pack. That was awesome, and I'm the only one that, <laughs> I had a bounce on my landing, nosed in my Silver Eagles, but she is fixed, and she, you couldn't tell by and looking I, at it. I came in with no battery, <laughs> he came just in with coasted no battery. in. Well, that's the problem. We Got all took it. off together. So yeah. as you're flying, it's like, all right, I'm, all right, in, minute, to land. I'm in a minute 30. Who's going to land early? Who's going to land? You know, but uh, that was fantastic. And obviously, I think the biggest thing about coming to these events and what we like to do is have some announcements. So you see two boxes behind me, um, but I just wanted to preface with this. Uh, preface and Alpha, uh, back me up if you're in the chat, obviously. But um, 
We have a new brand. It is a house brand from Motion RC that's going to, going to be debuting. So you're not going to be able to pre-order these just yet. This is just a special. We wanted to show you guys that we always have something cooking. So uh, these things are getting close. They're going to get close to uh, being released. And when they do, obviously, you're going to want to stay subscribed to our email. You know, I'll have it in there, YouTube, Facebook. You'll know when we do have pre-orders available. But we're excited about this brand. We call it Skynetic is the name of our brand. Um, and it's going to be, again, a house brand that's going to differentiate Motion RC more from just being known. You know, we're known for EDF jets. We're known for warbirds. Now we got Balsa. Now we got, you know, uh, helicopters. So as Admiral is our house brand for batteries and power systems, um, Profly is now our house brand for ARF Balsa kits. We have Rotor Scale, our house brand for fiberglass scale helis. We now have a foam electric brand that we hope to populate all the other categories you see on our pages, from sport planes to trainers to, you know, racers and there's so many other, you know, models aside from just jets that we want to get, you know, people excited about. So let's show you the, the boxes. And we're going to do unboxings and builds. Personally, I have not seen uh, either of these models in person yet. You can put, the other, put the other box up there for now. Um, I've only seen pictures. And you guys know Alpha. He's our lead designer I'm in touch we, we speak pretty much daily we're friends brothers from another mother and uh, I've obviously seen pictures I know you know what's going on I've seen videos of them but I never actually unbox it and held one myself so we have two models the first model is the 1m havoc racer this is a sport racer it is one meter wingspan and it is going to be one of your hand launch 100 mile per hour uh, again sport racers so belly lander, which is going to be exciting. And then we have the 1.4 meter Shrike. So this is going to be a trainer, uh, more trainer glider. We're calling it the Shrike glider. And um, this is to help people who are beginning, which is great. So let's get the boxes open and we will get to it. So if you want to let me know anything in the comments, I feel like I'm talking too much. Ooh, oh, you're good. You're I never good. even saw these boxes before. Oh, man. Wow, this is going to be fun. <laughs> it's got a similar look to it. Check out the box art, guys. But these are designed, our in-house branding. We got not only Motion RC on the box, MotionRC.eu has made the box as well, which is beautiful. I've got the Shrike glider, and he's got the Skynetic Havoc Racer. Havoc with a K. <laughs> kind of reminds me of like a Reno racer, like a P-50. Yeah, I think that's what um, you know, part of what Alpha told me. It's got, <coughs> you can tell that like most Reno racers when they do Mustangs, you can tell it's from, you know, right. the Mustang derivative. family. Derivative. Yeah, derivative. Uh, it's got a nice scale appearance from what I'm told. So I think we should do one. Let let the people pick. Which one should we open first? There you go. Which one? And let's if you got any chats, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <coughs> Who, it's it's about 10 seconds behind, too, on so the chat. So we're a little behind on the chat. It always I can see is. it here. So right. we're checking it out. Y'all vote. Come on. Which one? The racer? <coughs> or the strike? I'm sorry. I got something in my throat. What are you saying, Steve? We're on this counter now. <laughs> Steve's pointing at one right now. We can't tell you which one. All right. I say you do the Havoc oh. first. All right. What? Oh, yeah. We're gonna pull the mic back a little bit. Hold your ears for just a second. Make us a little more room. Cut all the. I got like something in my throat. Frog in my throat. All right. Here we go, Lori. Top Great. shot us. Let's see. I love the Guys. branding. It's so great to see Motion RC on here box we go. art. We're a little shaky, but here we go. Let's see the package. You know, it's funny, I've opened so many boxes and part of the fun of these is just there's enough design in the packaging as there is in the actual model itself just to fit it in. I'm always shocked the way they get these in the foam boxes. It's a big wingspan. Yeah. One meters, no joke. Oh man, it's a popping color too in this thing. Okay guys, it's a 4S power right setup. I'm gonna set these on the table so we don't lose those. 
I like it. I think it was green and like black or dark yep. gray, like charcoal. Let's flip it over, baby. Flip that wing out. Nice. That Mustang shape. Oh yeah. Looks like the finish I think you'd expect from mm -hmm. Motion and the brands that we sell. We're always gonna give you a quality finish. What'd you say? The wing is the wing is super <laughs> super thin. <laughs> and that's what you know. I don't think we're gonna say this is gonna be the fastest model in its class, but you know, we know people are gonna do their thing with it. I can definitely see the carbon already in the wings too. Yeah. Carbon in the wings. But it's gonna be super sweet. Oh, yeah. Let's see Look at the scoop here. here. I don't know if you got to see that, guys. It actually does have kind of like a Mustang scoop, but it's real shallow compared to a nose devil. And it is functioning, too, because the air is coming up through that. James needs some beer. <laughs> yes, just set yes, that out there for Linden. a second. Oh, don't you think for one second. How do you know I already haven't had some? We got our prop and a carbon spar. <laughs> it's been a hot day, a long day. You guys have seen props before. Well, come over here and talk about come it. Come on, yeah, Steve. Well, come on. Know. Come on. Right. Look at him coming Steve over. Steve Hodges is just he's Steve gotta, is busted in the he's building. He's got to jump here. in. Give me that wing. Uh, I was just noticing how the servo horns come off the top side of the wing. So when you're top, belly landing. You're not going to tear this up on a belly land, which is fantastic. I've seen so many belly landers with the horns on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a well, usually we do cover. It's like, you know, there's usually plastic yeah. covers on. Yeah, something to keep it protected. Yeah. This is great. Like the Dora and the Mustang from Flightline have that, but uh, so that's yeah. a graphic, and then that's painted. Cause you yeah. got to think you're probably you might land more with okay. more speed than the Very Dora nice. and the Mustang on this. Yep. Cause we're expecting this to have we'll more find performance out tomorrow. But it that looks really sick. good. Let's see the. Uh, yeah, get the rest. Getting of there. Yeah, get so obviously. Put that out there on oh front, yeah. Nice. All like charcoal <laughs> finish paint. You call that charcoal silver? Yeah. Charcoal? Oh, it's beautiful. That silver. On the on the horizontal stabilizer. Got a in it. Yeah, right? Ooh. Little gold leaf. Ooh. <laughs> Let's see, are we stuck? Pull out that fuse. Oh man, this thing looks crazy. I'm trying to figure out, it's just really tight. There we go. Don't you drop it. Oh, oh. You're doing it. You what are you it. doing? You told me not Let's to drop it. Pull it out. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Dude, look oh, at it. I love it. That's my favorite. That. Motion RC on top. Y'all didn't see that. I didn't drop nothing. X-Wave, Admiral, APC props, Skynetic on the tail. Looking like NASCAR up in here with Oh, it's awesome. I love the brands. exhaust, too. Look at yeah, those exhaust, exhaust, guys. Plastic molded exhaust. I got to take this canopy see, off right like away. Yep. Oh, easy. Magnetic. Easy. Wood. Nice space. Now, they're saying anywhere from a 3300, I believe, Alpha, to a 4000 4S is what we're going to pop in this bad boy. So I'm expecting some decent flight times. And I yeah. bet she's going to glide like crazy, too. The air scoop right there where it's going to put the air right on the ESC. And what do you see? We have 70, 80 amp. 80 amp Whoa. ESC. We're going to be pushing some power through pushing this bad some boy. power. That's a big ESC. That's I was a not big expecting ESC. that to come yeah. out that size. Crazy. We're the top end. Maybe I would say, I wonder why he picked 18. Let's see. What else is left maybe. in the box? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We got the boring set. Parts, spinner. Uh, and I think it's a carbon, it's not plastic, I don't think. I feel it. I think it's like thick. Let me check. Let's get it out. Let's get it out. Take we got to have baby. it out to put it together, right? Let me see. All right, I'm in the havoc. Oh, yeah, it's definitely not just plastic. We had a question. It feels almost like metal. We have guys. a question? Yeah, what says this feels... ESC motor and KV? Y'all hear that? It's not plastic. This is like metal. Yep, I'm getting to the... Uh, He's getting the product page up. I'm getting our, the information email. I know. Yeah, that's metal. Crazy. Reinforced motor mount and main wing. Screws. Again, Alpha's in the chat, so we can answer some of the other questions, especially uh, spec-wise. But 70 amp ESC, XC60. All your parts. A black anodized aluminum spinner. There you go, it's aluminum. With a two-blade prop. I thought it was metal when I pulled it out. Yeah. Yep. Or aluminium. You can get a little screwdriver. As a good friend would say. Look at that. Aluminium. Oh, while I'm on here, before we keep going, I just wanted to say real quick. Uh, Mount big, Bucks. I wanted to wish George Baker, Tire Iron Aviation, I wanted to wish him well in his recovery. He would normally be here right with us. It's not the same without the rocking chair, 
without his dog Spanky and without the B-24 bomber. And his presence is surely missed, but Tire and Iron Aviation, if you're able to watch tonight, um, we wish you the best, man. It's, it's just not the same. Coming to Null in the fall, he's always here. So we're gonna put this thing together first, then we'll get to the strike. You wanna do that? She could take do that. Much. This is gonna be. Oh, I guess I could start unboxing the Shrike while that goes too. Let's see. Four screws to put the tail so on. It looks like. What else are people saying? Screw it together, ready, and fly it. That's <laughs> yeah, not that dark. <laughs> got a flashlight? Stick a flashlight. But no, the goal, the goal here, obviously, put these together. We got to get pictures for the website. Product pages will hopefully be up by the middle of the week. But that's relying on us getting some media for those product pages. So we got to get some nice pictures tomorrow. We're going to do all our maidens on these bad boys. I say start unboxing yours. I'll rip putting it together real quick. Yep. Guys, it looks like it's like not going to take me very long to put this together. I doubt it. And uh, our other camera guys coming over. Other camera guys. Other camera guy, Alex. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Alex. Sorry. Alex, you'll poke your head in and go, hi. So again, on the Shrike, I'm just going to read the specs off the box. Motor is a 28, well, 28391, 1400 kV motor, 30 amp ESC, 9x5 foldable propeller up front. It's going to run on a 1300 to 1800 milliamp three cell, 1450 millimeter wingspan, 1010 millimeter length, and uh, six nine gram plastic servos. So again, this is going to be a really nice glider. And now I haven't seen the scheme on this, but that looks purple. Am I colorblind? Or is uh, that purple get, blue? Get in the light. Maybe get blue. in the light. Wow. If it's blue, not purple. I gotta get my eyes checked. That's purple, right? <laughs> the Shrike. The Shrike glider. I dig it. I dig. Graphics looks like we have, <clears throat> looks like a new type of wing connection, which is great. We got servos already installed. You got flaps on this, and you've got ailerons. So it's nice to have the glider. You could really, should be able to slow this baby down. We got our spar. Whoa. Is that a light on the wing? On the opposite. So we're green and purple. This is like, this is like Joker. That's like crazy. Green and purple. Great design. Oh, and you got LEDs on the wingtips, so that's nice. All molded in the wing, so that connector, I've never seen that connector before. Unless Wes has. What you got? You ever seen that? Nope, that's a new one. That looks new. Nice snap in. Everything is tucked away nicely inside. Old foam hinging, as you'd expect. A nice clean EPO foam too as well. And let's get right to the fuselage before I do the boring stuff. So you got Skynetic on the tail, Shrike, and the canopy has a metal, looks like a metal clasp. And you can see that wing connector. This is gonna be super simple to put together. And inside the hatch, ESC mounted below. All your leads are there to plug into. This is going to go together in a cinch. So what are you thinking, Wes? Dude, I'm liking it so far. I've got the tail almost put on, and then I've got... Lori, if there's any questions, the pull them out. Uh, we ask Price-wise, um, Alpha might get into that, but Skynetic, from what um, you know, from what we're talking about, most of the models in this line will be between the fifty and two hundred dollar range. So, you know, but that's not to say some might be, uh, you know, some might get more expensive later. But this is the first two in the line, so you know, it'll be a little while for the next, for any next models come. But it's the type of thing that's just going to grow over time, and we hope you guys enjoy them and. People who are looking for different types. This bar. <laughs> I put the whole tail you guys on see, Wait, wait. <laughs> Scooch over a second. Me? Wait, yeah. Look in the camera. Gary, it's coming down. Somebody got to put a radiant on the roof about five minutes before we went online. It's poking out. Hey! Oh, no! 
He just threw it off the roof. Live. Live. This is live. I don't know why he threw it off the roof. He should have just carried it down or something. Wesley uh, made a mistake. Caught it. All right, taking out. Down I've down got uh, I've got a spinner, Alex. I've got my folding propeller in its own case. I've got what looks like possible keto tube, or we will get to it as we go. And then we got rods and linkages and two screws. So only two screw assembly. Interesting. Let me check if anything else is here. Oh, yeah. My horizontal, of course. My horizontal stand. Oh, Rich mean? Baker peeking in. Rich Baker peeking in. Rich Baker's here. Come on over, Rich. Come on over, Rich. I'm supervising. Come on, get in. <laughs> All right, hurry up quicker. <laughs> now, manuals for Skynetic products, from what I understand, are going to be uh, yeah, online. Something. So, I didn't have a manual in the box. And we got to deal with whatever sound we got. Yeah. Live event, actually. All right, start putting stuff together, right? Does it have lights? No. The Shrike does, yeah. not the Havoc. The Shrike does have wingtip lights. They're on the leading edge. Wesley screwed up. He's so taking should get what? Big two. So it should be, I'm assuming, red and green. Something to see. I like this. This is nice. Right? right? That's like a razor thin wing. Okay, Alpha's so probably that. explaining that in the chat, but yeah, that's what he see. wanted. Where's that's Alpha? slick. That's going to be fast, yeah. It's got a little scoop under it. For some air. Yeah. That yeah, might work as well. How we fast on the Havoc? I think, I think from what Alpha's saying, 100 in a dive. There we go. That looks a little better. Yeah. Would be about where you'd probably expect to be. Yeah. This is nice. All the hinges look laminated. And they're on the opposite side. Yeah. The side. So when you belly land, you don't tear them out. There's some good spar in there, it looks like. It's tough. You got a couple spars. Hold it up to the light. <laughs> yeah, it's got spars around it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Cool. Yeah, it's slick. I like that. It's a nice finish. And Ooh, man, let's I get like started. That. So I'm going to put, I think I'm going to do main wing first. Fixed it. All right. <laughs> put the spar in. All right. Yeah. Bonus. I'm going spar through. Nice spinner. I'm going right. Through. Aluminum. Isn't that nice? Oh, spar through. Up. And it should just slot in. Oh, my goodness. Perfect. Now, I'm assuming I might have to, I guess I'm going to have to glue this down. There's no, no screw there's got to be something that's, maybe? Well, no, the wings take off, come off and on. Yeah. got to be something. Does it click in or something? Or does it just hold in by pressure? I don't think it would hold in by pressure. I mean, it, is there anything yeah. underneath to close in or no? No? <laughs> We're figuring it out as we go, guys. Yeah. We didn't get a manual. Oh, there's a hatch to get out. Oh, nice. You got a little hatch underneath to get out your elevator and rudder servos. So that's really easy. And it looks like one of the screws is going to screw that hatch in when you're done. I'm sure I'm going to have to pull those through. I need that file. <laughs> I need that CAD file. He's, he's sending me the Tomcat swing, swing wing, the file, the CAD file for the plates. So we can make those new plates for everybody. Wow, it? that's crazy. The rudder is like, it's inside. I don't even see any horns. But the rudder is actuates the servo when you're. We're figuring it out too. In. First yeah. time Woo! seeing it, guys. So I think. Oh, there's my elevator. My elevator uh, control horn tucked away. But the rudder is just inside. I'm sure I'm gonna need a screw for the tail. Wow. I need some glue. No glue in the box. But I'm just gonna dry fit it for now and then work into it. But let's see. Right, I'm just kind of getting mine pieced together. I'm not putting a receiver or nothing in it. No, so you guys can see it all we're together. Not doing that yet. But we are gonna film full build videos. Oh, Alpha's calling me. Mid all right, chat. look at this. <laughs> Alpha! <laughs> Hello? James. Yes. 
You okay, are on. This is alpha. You're on speaker, Alpha. <laughs> All right. Tell James he needs to open up the battery hatch for the Shrike. Yes. There's a the two wings clip in. Yes. <laughs> and then in that plastic bag in front of him, he's got a he's got a five inch white spike. That's the spike. That spike oh, cool. Slides in from the hey, inside oh, of the enemy. Yeah, it's, a, it's a hidden mechanism. Hey, I didn't want to use it on the outside or wonky yeah. looking close yeah. in. Mm -hmm. Teamwork. So, so yeah. that spike up I got a spike. That spike goes in between. Sorry. That's what it was. Right here. Through the front. Wow. Right yeah, all the horns are hidden. All the horns are hidden. That's crazy. And where is the rudder? Like, I can't even see where the horns connected. That's amazing. The rudder, the rudder is internal. Internal. Yeah, the, the, the tail planes are completely hidden. Nice. So then you got two screws in the, in the box. I see one for the hatch on the bottom. And what would the other one be for? Or is it a spare? Cool. Beetle. Spare. Spare. So you got a spare screw. So it's one it screw good. assembly, and then this awesome piece that just yeah, that's all the pushes uh, okay. in. I'm putting them on later. Oh, I'll just dump them give them for the and is it molded on the hatch? Nice. Too thin. So we're gonna push that. Hey, all these the are way new in. ball links. The cut on the top of that. These are new ball links too. Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. There you go. Oh yeah. I didn't put the clash. I didn't push the clasp. That fits perfectly. Close the clasp. All good. And I can't pull that wing apart at all. <laughs> there you go. With that spot. Yeah. Cool. I like That's that, really man. neat that it doesn't have anything exposed on and the And look outside. at that. The only one you have to try to connect, you're going to have to connect, is the elevator. Okay. Yeah. You know? And it's like a normal glider back there. A lot yeah. of gliders are like that. Yeah. Just the two lights? I love that. Yeah, it's just the two lights. That's cool, they're a nice place though. I think this would be a great model for eventual night. Yeah, you know, yeah. put some LEDs inside of it. Yeah. That's a pretty good wingspan, 1.4. Yeah. I think anybody who's interested in a trainer, something for, you know, a beginner or just to have some fun, nice glider. This thing looks <laughs> awesome. The price will be right. Does it look awesome? I'm sorry, Can guys. Can I hold that I one? Keep, yeah, here, check it out. Trade. Trade. I keep looking at that one though, going, wow. oh man. It's oh, got man. really nice lines. It's just so exciting to see, you know, motion on an aircraft. It's first time I've ever seen it, and it must be awesome to see if you are, you know, if you've been around motion for a while. This is new for us, and all of our employees are so just as excited as we are to finally right, get yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's cool. Pretty, you know, yeah. to get to a point where we can start delivering some of our own ideas designed by us. Not by me. <laughs> I have absolutely zero say in what's coming, and that's a good thing. But so is it an APC prop? Because it's got all the logos and stuff. Ah, uh, probably. I'm probably. assuming it's an APC. Cause it's I'm got, sure they talked to APC. It looks like a stock car, so it yeah. looks like it's. Uh, APC. You know, X Wave is going to be our okay, our right, retract gotcha. band, and we're going to have some more products okay. coming from that. Yeah, Admiral, we got the so motors yeah. and that's the cool, batteries. Yeah. That's neat. And Skynetic is our own brand, and the color is. That beautiful. was actually my yeah, suggestion. Skynetic, I have to just, I just have to point that out there. I put them together and all I hear in my head is, do, 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 do. Yeah. This is the future coming back to kill John Connor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this time we will. <laughs> I'm so excited to fly these tomorrow. No, these look awesome. I like the colors too. I mean, they really pop, guys. Which I don't know how good you're seeing them right now, but we'll get better video, of course. But, I mean, the color schemes on these planes are beautiful. Um, the the Havoc, I'm just drooling all over that because I <laughs> love planes like that one, like the little racer Mustang they just did, uh, the little fun fighters. We've been having a ball with those today. Yeah, grab me, a, uh, grab me the... Yeah, grab one. Grab both If you wanted them. to kind of see size Just to show the size differential because these fly on 2200 4S. They're 850 millimeter wingspan, so that's the Mustang. The Mustang from flight line to ours. You can see. And the door. We so, were having so much fun. Oh my god. <laughs> People were getting crazy. Put the door up there. The Dora looks like it's about the same wingspan. Well, they're 850. This is 850 as well. So yeah. no, it's be a, little a little lower. Shorter. Yeah. You won't even see the Dora behind yeah. it. But you can see what flight lines do, and that's the you know they have the like 
Steve called out the control horns are on the bottom, but they do have a cover. One of mine, one of mine ripped out one time, but they get a cover here on this wing. And then, you know, ours is naked. I'm trying to get it up. Perfect for belly side. landing. Yep. This is gonna be so cool. So many airplanes. Something else different. <laughs> something different. Something exciting. And something fun. Well, how big is the prop? Uh, Let's see it. It's right here. It might be on the box. No, it's right here. There we go. Where's the prop. havoc prop? Let's say what size the prop is. No clue. Doesn't say it on. Yeah, it does. Seven point eight by seven. I was gonna say I just got to it. And it says Motion RC on it. Even. It says Motion RC on the prop. On the prop. Nice. That's a nice little touch. Let's see. It'd be back plate first, but whatever. Oh, there's a back. Oh, the spinner and everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You'd have back plate. Let's just get that on. Sweet. That, that. And Washer. Screws. Not. Did you do something wrong? No. Nope. Just hold the prop. It's turning it. Oh, there we go. There you go. The spinner, I'll just hold it on there for a second. Finally. Wow, look at that. Wow. Is this I the like the front? black front. There you go. Take it back out a minute. Yeah. Teamwork here. Look at that, guys. Teamwork. Boom. I'm sweating. Look at that crazy. scoop on top, too. I just yeah. noticed that. There's a scoop right here, and it's actually... Here, wait. He's got the thing right there. There you go. Okay. Look at the scoop on the front. I didn't notice it until... Look at that. Functioning, too. It's not just That's there for pretty. Cool off your right. battery hatch. It's kind of crazy looking there on the top. And the scoop on the bottom is functioning, too, and it's feeding air up into the fuselage. And I really dig that. I love the colors on it. It looks awesome, guys. The silver Beautiful. against the uh, green, it oh, really sorry. just pops like crazy. Fantastic. Let's move these a little bit. Pop and this has down. flaps too, so. Yeah, and I, awesome. Lights. You'll be Lamp. able to slow this down. Let's see. This has the folding prop. Folding prop. I think there's probably a back plate for it, isn't there? Uh, somewhere. Yeah, it's somewhere here. It. It's normally a back plate. <laughs> might be inside. I might have to take this apart quick. But, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. there you go. For looks. Well, we'll figure it out. Something this like comes, that. Oh, you know what? This probably sits inside, inside that. Yep. Oh, man, that's so cool. How do I get that off? Oh, screw it. Look at that. Look at the stripe. Spinner. Spinner unscrews. We got the hub in here. So I'm okay. thinking that. No, no, no. no. I'm thinking. No. Mm -hmm. Nope, we're going to go through the other way. There is a grub screw inside. So we tighten this on. That's what you're going to do. You're going to tighten that on. Probably. We got to figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, guys. We'll fly it. That'll We're taking them out of the box. Look at them. That the looks sits maybe. perfectly inside, and then you just hand tighten. It's oh, it's backwards. <laughs> just like that's backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Live. There you go. There you go. You can just stick it on there for the looks if you yeah, want. Yeah, I just want to. I don't think I think I have to loosen the grub screws uh, okay. if I was gonna do it, but basically. Yeah, be no, there. We gotta loosen you know, that'll be that'll be straight. There's just some grub screws that I gotta loosen, but that is really, really cool. It is. Show the strength of the Havoc one-piece wing. Snap what do you want me ass. to smash it on the table? <laughs> no, normally you can pick them up. Yeah, like oh here. yeah. Yeah. So let's see. You just pick it up out here. And just kind of see it. Yeah, man. It's it's a strong wing, guys. Go out to the edge. Uh, no. I don't know yeah, if the carbon goes the all the way out. The carbon goes to right here. Yeah. There's about right there is where your carbon stops. You can see that. So I can hold it from right out here, but I can't get all the way to the tip. But it's going to be strong, guys, if you can do that with it. I mean, it's it's not a soft wing. There's, I don't know if I can show that somehow. What? You can see it. There's carbon in the wing right here. Oh, wait, hold here. on. It's embedded. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I got an idea. Can you see? Yeah, okay. You can really see it now. You see the carbon right, get stars? Out, get that second camera There's two of them here. in there. We'll come over. But the carbon is embedded inside the wing. Uh, Lori's got to change. Lori's got to change oh, it. I'm sorry. I'm paying attention to the check. Yep. yep. There, there we go. Is. You can see the carbon is actually embedded inside the wing there, There's guys. There's carbon in the ailerons, too. 
Yeah, and the ailerons too. If you go up here, you can see oh, wow. the carbon is in the carbon ailerons. Carbon through the aileron. That looks awesome. And down here, there's a second spa, right? Is Somewhere in there. There is. There's one up here. Oh, the I graphics. can't go through the graphic. Can't get to it. The graphic. There is well. another one up in here, though. You yeah. Can you can switch. Oh, this is there awesome. we go. It is. This is awesome. So let's. I, I'm digging it. it. I'm so excited for this. I can't wait it's to always fly great it. to have something new, right. exciting. I gotta keep all the pieces. Yeah, we gotta get all the pieces up here so we don't lose anything. Keep it together. Control oh. horns. I'm gonna keep all my and stuff separate. This is all for separate. the Havoc. This is all for yes. the Shrike. Put all and these little pieces back. Just so I don't lose six anything, guys. Six spars in the wings, two in the stabs. Six spars in the wings, two in the stabs. There you go. So Whew. it's gonna be a tough beast. It is hot. <laughs> it's so hot here today. Oh, we've been sweating like crazy. Crazy. So, anyway, guys, um, live from Joe Nall, we plan on doing this several times this week. Yeah. We just wanted to make sure it was going to work first. Um, we'll probably go live again tomorrow night. Um, if we're going to go live, it might be on your channel. Right. But Tuesday night, the plan right now is to go live again um, with something special. We're just waiting on one thing to arrive. So, if yep. that arrives, it could be Tuesday night, it could be Wednesday night, but I will email blast, um, or not email blast, but I will um, 100%. Facebook, social media blast. You guys will know when we'll go live and we'll do basically the same thing, same setup, just on the Motion RC YouTube channel for the next one. So yeah. we're so, going to have some fun here, guys. Are there any questions while we've got them out? Anything about um, either Null? Yeah, Null. And anything about Null? Joe, Null. If y'all can see, it's like 8.30 at night. And what is it, 9 o'clock even? There's still planes flying. They go all night long yeah. out here yeah, they've already mentioned the UFOs in the yeah the ufos uh the planes never stop flying at null uh, we're on the quiet line you go over to the 3d line and it's just all it's crazy day but long. i will say the electric line is the biggest I think. it is it's the biggest line at null in the fall it's obviously e-week used to be at this time of the year and null in the fall replaced e-week so i just think a lot of electric uh you know guys would have come anyway but now you're just getting almost that Joe Nall feel. But I do, um, you know, believe last year Nall in the fall was big, but that was because Nall got canceled, so they, that was the first annual. Um, and this is just a little smaller than Nall, but it's still an awesome event. I mean, I believe it said like 400 registered pilots, maybe more. Um, so it's been it's, a great it's, time. Yeah, I, we haven't even got a chance to go up and see the main line, so tomorrow maybe fly, we should fly, go. Fly, fly, and, we and should go take the cart and just go walk the line. Maybe that's something we do live because right. I always like walking the line, seeing all the big stuff. And <laughs> I've been dying to fly, so I have the Fairchild from Black Horse. We got the PC9 from Black Horse, and now we have the ProFly OB10. Fly them at the main line. Yeah, you know, flying on the electric line is great, but. Things get a little hectic out there around six and seven. Rules go out the window, and it gets nuts. I don't want to put up my big balsa model with some of these little, right. <laughs> some of the crazy people that just stop going in the pattern. You know, people just kind of do their own thing. So when the sun goes down, <laughs> it just gets nuts. Yeah, or when the rules, the rule after five p.m. and all the uh, volunteers go home, then people are just on their own, and not everybody follows the rules. <laughs> Let's just say right. that. But it's been um, a lot of fun, man. We've been burning packs left and right. Nonstop. And, you know, real quick, I've got somebody that comes by the show every week. You guys know him. Eric, do you want to pop in for a second and just say hi to everybody? Come on, man. Oh, you Pop in real on. quick. I'm going to walk off look, for a little I'm going to get this guy in. He is here every this week talking to show. us. Good evening, viewers. Good evening. <laughs> this Good evening. guy watches every week. I wanted to get him in here for just a second. Put the face to the name, guys. What do you have to say to everybody? Hey, man, here? this is great. I'm stoked. Huh? I'm here live. <laughs> That's right. He's been watching it all day. He's been hanging out with us. Um, guys, if you're not here, come out. Meet us. Um, I promise I'm not scary. I want you to meet us. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Come by. He got his Look stickers. Give me a bunch of stickers. Look there. <laughs> so come out. Visit us here at Joe Nall. I mean, it's awesome. Fall Nall. Excuse me. Nall in the fall. I'm going to get it right eventually. Y'all know what I mean. We here. We here, yeah, we having fun. So, all right, man. pilots, man, I'm out. This is great. Have a good. Alex, you want to pop in for a second? No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Anybody? I'll pop back in. Man. Wanted to give Eric his time. Hey, I, I thank y'all so much for having me. Um, 
for yeah, doing we're sharing what we're an doing. RV and everything, I mean, so guys, he's got to deal with me snoring. They have been <laughs> so inviting to us, me and Lori. We've we've been cooking together. We've been eating. I mean, it's like a family out here. Um, RC Jet dude, Steve, he's been with us the whole time. Um, Rich is hanging around all around. I mean, all of us are like a big family out here, just flying all day. You know, answering questions for people. It's it's like a big family at, at these events, and it's always so much fun. I mean. Yeah, but I can't think of a better way. You just see, you know, that you see every time you come and you only see them when you get right. to the show. But they're like, you know, I think everybody has an uncle or something or a family member that you only see sporadically. But when you do see them, it's like you never left each other. And like, you know, when we meet up with Carlos Garrett, Giancarlo, the guy who crashed that F-22 at Nall when we did the gaggle, Where you saw he's back. Stones. We're going to do more F-22 uh, gaggles, but he's back with another one. Um, you meet up with. Oh, man, I want to thank Mike Gregory, Rob, and uh, Mark Sumner, you know, the guys from Triple Tree, Chaz, who we see here all the time driving around. I mean, I have this about my seventh or seventh year in a row that I've been coming here, and for the most part, those years I've come to both events a lot. So this almost 15 times I've probably been to Triple Tree now, and it's home away from home. It doesn't it, – it's worth a vacation. If you're ever going to do a vacation that you want something different – you know, it's family friendly, it's beautiful grounds, you know. Come on out and do our seat for a week and have a good time. But we yeah. can't wait to see. <laughs> I had to laugh, I'm sorry. Here comes Rich has the XK. <laughs> the Heli. XK Heli's flying in. He's out, in of, he's out of camera. <laughs> he's a little too hot. Here he goes. Let's see some of the comments. What do we got? Oh. Non stop flying out here, guys. <laughs> Oh, the Lord God's be good. there in the spring. Yeah, let's do, let's sort of, uh, how about some hot takes? If anybody has any questions or anything. But if not, then. We've been trying to read it, guys. It's just been busy out here. So, hey, we're looking. We're looking at the comments. Look at them. Papa Boozer, yes. We'll be flying the two new birds tomorrow. <laughs> we're going to be filming videos. Oh, it's getting dangerous. You're out of camera. you got to go up a little bit. <laughs> Woo, pause. Oh. oh. <laughs> Rich just landed this right in front of me. <laughs> Rich. Oop, wait. Your tail rotor's not going. You're fine. Huh? Hey, yeah, there you go. Kelly expert. You don't feel right. Okay, there you go. He's gone. Gone. Good, thanks, QB. Great show, guys. Lori, awesome camera work. As always. Finishing the morning with my coffee. It seems Not like this is a great thing. Guys, I can't wait to do it all week with you now that we know it works. We want you all to be seeing the event. I'm going to try to go live maybe in the daytime too so we can see maybe people how the event actually is for you guys that haven't ever been here before. I'd like to pop in maybe sometime tomorrow. Set it up, let you all look out at the airplanes if it's not bad. I haven't looked at it yet. Is it good? Any, everything's working I see perfect. James White asked, is uh, Josh and Alex from Flight? flight test here no they are not and actually it was i'm surprised that no other vendors are even at the electric line set up you know not you got a, motion here at the electric we're the line. only vendor set up down at the electric line which is crazy and we're not even actually vending which i wish hopefully in the future we'll be able to do that i'd love to come here with models batteries and all that stuff but logistically speaking you know we just got to get bigger and we will and we're gonna you know one day i'd love to bring a pallet of products that people can just buy and go nuts for but tell you wesley know. we want him on the 3d line <laughs> there, the there's 3D somebody line. at the 3d line right now tell wesley we want him <laughs> down at the 3d line <laughs> is it a party at the 3d line it's we'll always a party at the 3d line <laughs> we'll come on down oh man guys and the other cool thing out here for you that haven't ever been to joan all there's there's the main line, there's the float line, there's the electric line, there's a 3D line, there's the heli line. There's, there's, there's an electric 3D line that they let yeah, the line Yeah, there's an electric 3D line. What? Fred Baron, Control line. FPV. Control line. FPV you can there's, do. There's so many flying spots. Fred Baron, we thank you so much for that. Um, nice, Thank man. you, man. We really do appreciate that. <gasps> Burn. <laughs> <laughs> The Baron. This is great, guys. Well, live from Joe and all. I don't know what else. Yeah, man. Got anything else for tonight? No accidents other than my little yeah, F-18 you know, accident, but it, it looks good. 
There really wasn't too much crash into I that. I fit 45 models in my RV here, so he has a choice. It took me about <laughs> plus and I put them all together myself just because I'm crazy like that. I like to feel that accomplishment, putting all my wings back on, getting loaded. It took me about all day, all night Friday and then most of the morning Saturday <sighs> to get them all going. Killing and it's hot. Now I obviously have 47 models right? and Where maybe some them? more. <laughs> To come back. These will be easy, though. I think this is going to go on the dashboard on the way home. Right. She looks so it good. It does look good. And I have no doubt it's going to fly like a dream. I miss flying a model like these. I, we just Since I've been here, we just haven't had one that you know, we we're ready to promote. So it's great to uh, finally have something new like this. And the Shrike looks awesome as well. Right. We're going to let Steve's kids get pulls on this because Steve's son, Enoch, has been flying a 90 mil F-22, the L-39 now. It'll be so easy for him, but even Nathan will be awesome. I've got, oh, that's my wife calling. She has uh -oh. no idea we're live right now. <laughs> oh. Sorry, you just have to go to go to chat for now. <laughs> Sorry. That's right, go talk to us in the chat. But I actually um, might go take that. <laughs> okay. So, well, hey, Wes, you know, Mary, Mary Boozer channel, not that, guys. Thanks. Um, thank you so much for joining. More all week. As I said, stay tuned to Facebook. I've been trying to update Hobby Squawk and, um, you know, Instagram and such. And then one of the next live chats, we, live shows we'll do from the Motion RC channel. So again, yeah. Wes, so excited to see you. It's only Man, it's Sunday. Great. Six more days of this to come. So let's get these two guys in. Talk for a few minutes. Rich come on over. Steve. Come on you over. Are going to fly these tomorrow? Yes. yes. We are going to fly them. Come on over, guys. Right, guys. Jump on in. Everybody talk. Come on. This, is, this is for you, Steve. Oh, See man. what y'all think. <laughs> let's get, let's get yeah, some these outside are, opinions. Check them these, out. These are pretty slick. I do like the, um, I do like this wing connector. That's pretty sharp. Right? Hey, you just got one plug in there that, that uh, joins all the wings together with. That's kind of cool. It's got a nice finish, too. It's pretty clean. All you got to do is put the rods on. And uh, I like the wingtip right? lights. The wingtip lights are going to be awesome for seeing that thing when it's coming at you. But yeah, nice stuff. Real nice stuff. That stab is really stiff. Oh yeah, it's got a carbon spar. I put it in oh there a second ago. It's all yeah. the way through it. It's cool. I like it. Ball links all over. Yeah, it's got ball links on the What's this for? rudder. I think that's the battery tray. For oh, this okay. So it's got a slide in there. Right. That's cool. I haven't had a chance to put it in yet. Awesome, man. The skid plate right there. So, that thing's going to be a rocket. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. got an exit hole for hot air to come out right there. Yeah, it's got two scoops there. Yeah, one in the front and one into the bottom that's feeding right through the ESC. That's an 80 amp ESC. Yeah, it's I think James had said 70 earlier, but it's an 80 amp ESC. Yeah, that's a Skywalker. Those are, I think these are actually rated for 100, even though they say 80. They're actually, actually good for 100. That's a big I've had them in a lot of airplanes, and they're pretty... They're real reliable, you know. Never really had any problems with them, so they're, they're good. Uh, I just like I like the uh, the stock car like. Uh, oh yeah, where they did all the the names. But on it's the actually side. authentic stuff. It's not. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's actually like what it has to do with it. Yeah, yeah. Looks like a decent amount of space inside there too for the battery. So. Anyway. Uh, well, very nice. Thoughts from you guys from today? I mean. It's just been fun. It's hot. It it's is hot, hot here, but I tell you what, the air is mostly still. We are getting some wind down the runway and uh there's more and more people actually showing up right now so oh um, yeah so uh it's We're starting to fill early. up it's starting to get yeah it's a little bit early but uh, so uh was a, great I'm day. Day. a lot of flying ah. yeah the wind yeah. was good the weather's been favorable yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be great for the rest of the event too yeah. it beats the heck out of it being super windy yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah the one nice thing it's hot but there's not a lot of wind and it's beautiful yeah. calm steel like the, the the air here is just it seems yeah. still to me like the airplanes fly more stable the best it's, news every time i've come up here it feels that way to the me. best news it's not raining That's, yeah when it rains it gets to be a mud pit and i think we're doing good for this week so far with the forecast so it's looking like it's going to be i think mostly dry don't quote me on that because i can't the uh the joe Nall <laughs> dust that. is definitely in the air yeah <laughs> yeah so but i'd rather have the dust than the rain so but uh yeah but uh, tomorrow or the next couple of days, I'll be having the Tomcat out flying around. I'll have the Starfighter, which is going to be a maiden flight on that thing. So if you guys get here, the next couple of days we'll be flying that around. And uh, so uh, yeah, it's going to be a good time, guys. So come on out. We got lots and lots and lots of airplanes, and uh, 
and uh, Steve. He's been flying. <laughs> I'll talk Steve real quick. He's been flying that Golden Dragons F-18, and that thing is awesome. He's got lights all through it. Um, he put all the what do you call it the, the formation lights all in it, yeah. showing it all to me. It's crazy if you see it in real life, guys. I mean, it's nuts. And the Apache that we did on the show last week, yeah, seeing it in person, the Apache is amazing. Yeah. I mean, that is one. When's, when's that going up? I, I did a quick what test hover on it Got yesterday, it. Right, right. just to make sure the vibrations were out of it and it was tracking right. So I'm ready right. to fly it whenever. We right. just gotta haul it up to the other end. Right. Oh, so we can't. <laughs> Well, you know what? I bet you we could get us. We could stop traffic to fly that, though. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I, maybe, maybe we, we, we maybe, could, we could I, do that, or find a spot when people aren't flying, and we could we maybe. could do that here. I we wouldn't want to go do it, it in so. the pattern when people are flying, but we could arrange that. We can make that happen we if could you want to do something. Yeah. Because it'd be cool to film it here. Because I'm sure probably everybody wants to see that. Because I'm dying to see it, and I'm I'm, I'm also, dying to see it. Also, <laughs> not to put and, too much pressure on you. Well, no, no, of course, just people want to come and see that. We kind want of to stuff, see so that one fly, though. We've all been following yeah, it. Yeah, that's why I'm asking the question. So, in the next couple of days, he will be flying that. So, if you guys want to see a cool Apache, it's oh, pretty sweet. So, we'll be sweet. doing that here. Yeah. So, anyway, that's it, guys. Well, guys, come on I think out. We're going to wrap it up. Yeah, this is be. night one at Joe Nall yeah. or Fall Nall or you know what I mean, but. I hope you enjoy the new releases. We're going to be flying them all week long. We'll get lots of film. Uh, I think we're going to get everybody flying these things. Um, it's, going to be fast. it's been a lot of fun. And like I said, night one, we'll get ready for some live shows throughout this week. I might go live during the day. I know some of you are going to be at work. I'm sorry. Catch the replay. Check it out all week long. If you're not a subscriber here, definitely hit that bell. Definitely subscribe. Keep up with us all week long so you can get notifications every time we're live. And I think that's it. So, Miss Lori, let's wrap this up. Guys. Just started. This is, this is just Sunday. This, this, is, just, Sunday, this yeah. is just Sunday. <laughs> yeah, we got a week, week of go. this. So, <laughs> I'm sure towards the end of the week it's going to get crazy out here. There will be a lot more guys. Uh, it just yeah. builds from it here on. Picks up it gets nuts. Week. Wednesday. So, yeah. guys. Hi, right, guys. Thank you all so much for stopping with us tonight. We're going to talk to you all later. Lori, five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Guys, y'all have a wonderful evening. <laughs>